Willie, many congratulations. Really dominant straight sets win. One of the best performances we've seen at the world so far. How would you assess it? That's all right. Um, I thought my doubles were good. I thought I took advantage of positions I got myself in. And but at the same time, you know, I got too many troublous visits, visits that I need to sort out, you know. So, but uh, no, I was alright. Happy to get the win. I'm very happy to get the win <laughs> into the next game now against Chris Dobie, So, all good. Back to the tail, he's a bit of an unknown quantity, but sometimes when you don't know a lot about a player, it can be hard to prepare for it. But you seem really comfortable up on that stage. Yeah, you know, I've got some dodgy draws over the last couple of years, so you know, um, you, you learn to, to deal with it. Like that, I haven't seen him play before, I didn't know what to expect, but at the same time, I just thought to myself, look, just expect a mid 90s average and just get stuck in, you know. So I just expected that and just played my own game. And, you know, when I saw those opportunities when he hit, you know, a couple of silly scores, I just kind of jumped in them and got over the line. And your first win on the TV stage since the UK Open back in March, how pleasing to return to winning ways? No, I don't really think about it, you know, happy enough. <laughs> How do you assess your 2023 season in the whole so far? It's poor enough, to be honest about it, you know, but we can put it right now at the end of the year, so on to the next one. And you've shown in the past you've got the game to be anyone in the world, so what's the key to sort of challenging on a more consistent basis, do you feel? Practice. If I practice, I'm alright. And it's Chris Dobie, so plenty of practice at his game? I've been practicing, I mean, come here, listen to me, no one, the next game is not going to make a difference. I've been practicing before I've come here today, so. You know, I, I hope I can, you know, either replicate tonight or do a little bit better. You know, I've, I know what I can do, so I just gotta, just gotta do it. I'm prepared, so see where it goes. Good man, well done. Willie, congratulations. I remember speaking to you this time last year when you have just beaten Bo, and you said the pressure on that game was was intense because it was Bo. Was it feel easier this time around? Um, yeah, no matter who you play, I think, you know, versus that game, I think it's going to be a little bit easier. Um, She's, you know, I mean, world champion, like, versus I've no idea who you are. And, and no disrespect to, to Pav. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a good little player. I, I practice him backstage with him, and he's, he's played a lot better than he did a, on stage here tonight. You know, he's, he's a good player, and I think he's one to watch out for. But, yeah, I mean, going into that game, I mean, last year it was, it was tough, you know, and it was mentally very hard to prepare for. So, anything after that, I don't care if you're playing Michael Van Gerwen, I don't care if you're playing Gerwen Price, who you're playing, it's going to be easier than that. And again, for your former World Cup Irish teammate, Steve Bennett, it was a big day for him today as well, winning. Are you keeping an eye on his game beforehand as well? Yeah, I kept an eye on his game. I was watching him, I was thinking, oh man, how are you 2 nil down? <laughs> and when he came back to two hours, I was thinking, go on, just do it. But you know, he got over the line now, and you know, hopefully his tour card is safe. Is that sometimes nice from the practice room when you've got like, Steve in there at the same session as you as well? Yeah, it is, of course. I mean, when you're practicing with someone that you're used to being around, I mean, it's, it's a lot easier. To, because you're just preparing, so you know it's more familiar territory and it's it's good. Congratulations. Cheers. Willie, you said there about practice is very much the key to consistency. Have you put in enough practice, in your opinion, to prepare for these tournaments? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm ready to rock for this one anyway. So bring it on. This is obviously the biggest tournament of the year. You said your season so far has been poor by your standards. If you do well here, does that raise the memory of the rest of the year? I mean, I don't think about the past, so whatever happened is gone, it's done, it's dusted. I mean, you can, you can only, listen, what happened in the past is behind you, what's in front of you, you can change. So I put in the practice, I put in the time and effort, and you know, whatever is meant to be is going to be, and that's it. Like, I mean, I can't do no more. You can do your best, and that's all you can do. You can't try any harder than your best. So that's it. Like. In Chris, you're playing for the major winner, but not in the best of form, you would say. You must be I don't know. I mean, I don't look at it like that. I mean, I don't look at anybody's form. I know, I know Chris. You know, I, I know what he's capable of. So I'm ready for that, Chris. Uh, you know, so you know, and I hope when he throws like anything, I just expect Chris to turn up and just play well. I expect him to play very, very well. I expect him to, you know, to take advantage of silly missed opportunities and different things like that. So you know, I need to be ready as well. Took all nine legs in that match. Can it be sometimes difficult in your next match of the tournament to prepare when it was quite comfortable first out of four? Um, I, I don't like I said. I, I don't think of the past. I mean, I just think about the future. I mean, I, I got to get ready for Chris now. Like, so what happened before? What, whether you win a tournament or whether you win a first round or you lose or whatever it is, that's in the past. It's gone. You, there's nothing you can do about it. I'm thinking about my next game now, and I know I got to play well. If I don't play well, if I don't finish well, I'm gone, and that's it. So I got to think about. 
getting myself ready for my next game and, and that's it. Just looking ahead to the future, you've been on the tour for a while now. What do you feel like you need to do to take that next step in your career? I need to practice a little bit more. I need to take it a little bit more serious. That's um, how far it can bring me, I don't know, but I know I can definitely do a little bit better. Cheers, Thank you.